Welcome back, the newest astronauts. A second successful flight for Blue Origin. I don't know, I can't even... Star Trek legend William Shatner nearly speechless. The jeopardy, the... the, the... The, the moment that you see how vul the vulnerability of everything, it's so small. This air, which is keeping us alive, is, is thinner than your skin. Awestruck after seeing the Earth from 347,000 feet above its surface and ascending at a max speed of more than 2,200 miles per hour. He and three others in space for several minutes before falling back to Earth. Got in the camper and came. Got in the camper. You had everything on wheels. For Kathy McCandless, it was an opportunity to see history. You're never too old to do something new. Even if she didn't think she'd want to be a part of it. Does that excite you? No. No? I, <laughs> I, I have no desire to go up there. I'll, I'll stay on the ground. I'm good. <laughs> For Blue Origin, the flight was a much-needed boon to a company battling bad headlines. Allegations of a toxic work culture and a disregard for safety. Allegations Blue Origin denies. <laughs> the success solidifies the company as the leader in the race for space tourism, proving this rocket can go on repeated trips, opening the door for more tickets to space and more research for our benefit on Earth. Everybody needs to see the it was unbelievable. It was pretty cool. Even with miles between her and the launch pad, the experience was good enough for Kathy watching it go up to have a change of heart. I thought maybe I've changed my mind. Maybe so. That's what would be awesome is looking looking down seeing the earth as the fuel rolls in for another run perhaps a new destination for this traveler's list of dream trips i'm gonna have to find a lot of money first <laughs> james packard newsy culberson county texas